Pigpen cipher is a code system which, much like an alien script, depends on several grids. There are four main grids to learn in this cipher, as opposed to an alien script where there are only three. So, for this first tic-tac-toe grid here, which is the letters A through to I, you have to take the sides of the box that the letter is in and write those just as they are, without altering them in any way. It's the same as an alien script. For the second grid here, you take the sides of the box that the letters touch, again, just like in the first grid, and this time you add a little dot in like the center of the box, just to show that it's the second grid and not the first grid, and so people don't get mixed up between the letters from each grid, if that makes sense. So now we've covered 18 letters out of the 26 in the alphabet, meaning that there are only eight letters to go. So for the next two grids, you only have to draw a cross shape, like an X, instead of drawing one of those tic-tac-toe grids again. So just from now on, it's like the first grid again. You have to take the sides of the box that the letter is touching and just draw them. For the fourth grid, it's just the same and you just have to add dots in the middle, just like in the second grid. But from my personal experience, I think that while Pigpen Cipher here does the job, it's more fun to have like lots of different ways to write letters in the alphabet. So like changeability through the letters, if that makes sense. So kudos to CC Alien for changing Pigpen Cipher up into something which I find much more interesting. I have another video on my channel explaining the basics of Alien Script, so you should definitely go check that out now that you've mastered Pigpen Cipher. Have a good day everybody and see you soon.